Welcome back to Zexpress. Today, let's get started with the actual Instagram Reels, but using Canva. So I'm gonna show you how to create eye-catching Reels using Canva. The very first thing you want to do is to access Canva Reel template inside Canva. So here, what I wanted to do is to choose in a specific section, go for canva.com. Here into search your content Canva, let's go for Instagram Reels. Now here inside the Instagram Reels is gonna be showing you a lot of templates where you can just get started by choosing an actual template. Here, what I wanna do is go for Instagram Reel and you can see that we have a lot of templates. This is the part where you want to choose a real template. So Canva offers a variety of pre-designed real template to choose from. So browse through the template library and select one that resonates with your content or your style. So now here, what I wanna do is to scroll all the way down choose one element and use a template. Now here what you want to do is to make sure that you have free elements so you don't want to pay a lot for that. So I choose my actual template and I go for customize this template. And there we go. Now it is time to customize your reels. Now here you can add text, graphics, images and animations to personalize your reels and make it stand out. Canva drag and drop interfaces make customization a breeze. So get a hit now into play and make sure that it actually looks really fine. So you can check out that we have now this elements 24 hours here. I have this new image and I can just select my very first part of my Canva. So I can double click and edit the actual video that I do have. So I can go here into elements. Let's go for uploads. And in uploads, I'm gonna drag and drop a video that I just added. So what I can do is to choose my video and just by dragging like this, automatically it's gonna be making the transfer. And here you can see that we have now this new section of the video, right? So it actually looks great. So what I'm gonna be doing here is just to change the actual uh, duration of my video, which is in like this. And I'm gonna change the title, which is Salgar so Rally. I'm gonna go for Mountains at noon. There we go. So I have now 24 hours and Mountains at noon. So I can change the title if I want to, or I can do exactly the same thing. Or I can just select the three of them, copy it. I select this and I paste them. Really, really simple just to edit stuff as you are just getting started here inside, inside the Canva. And I can do exactly the same thing. Now, here, what I wanted to do is to add music and effects. You can encase your reels with music and effects to make more engaging. Camera offers a selection of royalty free music track into the web pod. Go for elements and here have music. Now, what I can show is just you is that you're going to be using this as a reel for Instagram only focused into, let's say, effects. Uh, sound effects that you can add into your reel. You don't want her to focus into music because Instagram lets you uh, add a vast of exploring audios and music inside the actual application of Instagram. So just focus into sound waves, um, sound effects, and so much more. So usually what I do is just to don't use music. I only use effects into my actual videos. Now that you have just focused into the element here, now that you have added your video, now that you have edited more text, if you can add more elements, for example, go for mountains and go for graphics, I can add more elements here inside my design, like this. And I can animate this new section like this. It doesn't look too bad after all. So I think that I can use this and later on I can download it. Now this is the last part, to download and share your reels. So once you're happy with the reels, it's time to download and share it onto the Instagram. So Canva allows you to download your reels into the MP4 format, so you can be ready to upload it directly to your Instagram account. If you go here into show, even you can just show this directly here into Instagram, but here what you want to do is to choose if you want to immediately post from the mobile app or schedule post from the desktop. So that's the reason why a lot of people uh, try to edit everything directly here into Canva and then later on make the uh, scheduling directly here into the mobile application. But since we want to add music directly from the Instagram, then it's gonna go for download and have this great quality, all the pages, and really important to choose MP4. Now I go for download, and let's wait just till our actual design has now been successfully added here. And well guys, there you have it guys. We are now having an actual successful creating stunning Instagram reel with the actual Canva. Whether you wanted to download directly from Canva or to send this directly from Instagram, 
using Canva. Both are actually balanced. So, thank you so much for watching the video, guys. If you find this tutorial helpful, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more social media tips, and check out more our actual videos here into our actual Techpress channel. Thank you so much for watching the video, and until next time, happy reeling.